people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Nichiwa, watashi no channel ni yakuso. Thank you so much for watching my video again today for another week. And uh, I was gonna kind of round up my favorites for winter because it's been a while since I've done it actually. I feel like it's been centuries. I've bought a couple of stuff for the past couple of months in December, so I thought it would be nice for you to kind of get an update of my new favorites. If I were to show you all my favorites, we'd be spending the whole day, the whole week, and probably the whole month on talking about it. So that I'm not trying to get you to hate me just for that. Oh, let's go. <laughs> the first part that I'm gonna show you here is gonna be a part of my skincare routine in general. But if you want to see more of my skincare routine and how I kind of take care of my skin on a daily basis, let me know. I'll be sure to do a kind of morning routine updated version. That my shower gel. The color is quite unexpected. Most of you should be, oh, I think, might be a way of lush. I think it's a Canadian brand. Shower gels, everything for the shampoo, every kind of product that you can use on your skin, on your body, and on your hair. They're gonna sell it, but they're gonna use natural ingredients. And that's what I love the most because the chemical part of it my skin is not a fan. It was my first time trying this one. The one that I had before was, I think, Raining Man. It's made out of avocado, but there's no weird smell. I'm just saying. It's mostly made out of avocado oil, and then in that, you have a lot of flowery scents to it, just to keep it fresh and really refreshing. I love the smell. It's fresh, and in the morning, when you feel a little bit groggy, this one will wake you up in a matter of minutes. Most of lash products, to be honest, can be expensive for what you get in terms of size and quantity, but I think it's worth it, especially because there's not much chemical in that. This little is an exfoliating type of soap, if I could say it like that. It's from Lush as well, and as you can see, I've been using it for quite a while now. It's gonna exfoliate your skin, and then it's gonna smooth it up with the natural oil that it has as well. So I've been using it for weeks now, and I can really definitely see a difference. And I want to keep that soft skin, even if it's like minus for the outside. But water, water, water. That's gonna make magic on your skin. Just sign of keep pieces when it comes to accessories. Da! My Baker Boy hat from uh, ASUS. Baker Boy hat for like months and months because I think I remember buying it last summer. I wore it so many times. I so edgy. I love the little details here. I have a silver, but then you have a couple of gold as well here. So I just loved it for that actually. And I was looking for a Baker Boy hat and I could be really picky when it comes to it. I need details. I need appropriate and just recognize myself in it. And that was it for that. I love this Baker Boy hat. I just love it. The second hat that I'm gonna show you is gonna be this red hat from Topshop. I bought it in December during the sale. It was my other coup de food, like we say in French, or my crush. I mean, even for Valentine's Day, there's a couple of things that you can do with it. And I'm gonna have a couple of videos, so just stay tuned for that. Again, here that could make a difference if you want to leave everything else much more subtle. Yeah. <laughs> My printed bag from Zara. This can be a fanny pack as well, which I love a lot. Not only you can have it over the shoulders, but you can have it around the waist. It's the beauty of having versatile pieces. It's small, it has little details, you know me and details. It stands out, but it's not in your face type of thing. Kind of worried this weekend to go to church, so you can wear it for so many things. Having a black dress, having that, you said. Please. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> Belt from Topshop. Got it a couple of months ago on sales as well. Really, really simple. So anything that you're gonna wear with it is still gonna be enough for you to stand out, but not so much if you don't want to be the attention of the room. Makes so small because sometimes you just need accessories to be the star of the show and not necessarily the clothing to be the star of the show. You have this chain as well from Topshop again here. I showed you that on my last hauls for December because I bought it on December. The vintage vibe here that is so big, so trendy. It was speaking to me and although it's not something that I would wear all the time, it's still my favorite because it's a chain. So whenever you want to switch things around and don't want to have to wear a belt, having a chain just makes a whole difference. But you have so many ways to style it, you have so many ways to wear it, you can wear it with anything. I mean 
anything now we're gonna get to the clothing department i have quite a lot as far as like my favorites go i think it's gonna be it's the cutest thing ever i showed you that way too many times got it from zara as well gonna try to find you something similar to it the fabric it's all satiny soft and just the color i think it's the shade of pink everything to it just creams leggings chic so many things to say to this girl you know when you want to kind of get out or just leave that winter color palette i think it's a good way to do it but for those who actually do feel the cold definitely get some thermals tights everything underneath it and nobody's gonna see it so. then you have my animal printed pants <laughs> i love this pen had a little bit of doubts because it was really out of my comfort zone here how much i could improve my style just with that but still have it my own way that made a huge difference in my life and what i love the most about it is that it fits me but graciously i got it from zara like, it was on sale like it got sold out so fast i was like yes i understand why now we're gonna get to a couple of dresses i have to it's gonna be this one it's a long knitted magnet type of dress it's what i call the classic black dress for winter because it's warm it's really fitted around the body but it kind of flows at the bottom which i love a lot you're gonna see some clip here had it for years i bought it from h&m if i remember correctly it's intemporal so whatever you do kind of dress that you can actually carry years after years after years so it's just a matter of you creating the magic of art when it comes to fashion with that kind of basic it's a really great basic for me fact is the thing is i love this dress a lot then i have this nice flowy cheetah printed dress from top shop because i thought it was a great 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 one they had it on sale in december if they still have it online i'm gonna link it down below it's unexpected because of the prints because of the color because of the style even really open here so you have to be comfortable but what i do with it it usually use a black turtleneck have it underneath it or you can have a sweater and have it over it i'm a nice example from my past couple of how to style videos it's just cute it's just a uh, super cute during summer you can definitely have it without having anything underneath or anything over it it works it's really cute just that the matter of you being comfortable with it of course love the flowiness couple of sweaters now the first one is gonna be better from zara fell in love with it so bad couple of colors here so you can really style it uh, amazingly with a lot of things to be honest really really thick i am telling you guys it's a freaking thick but it's really boxy so you might have to find a way to tuck it in to kind of break the boxiness of it so so that it just redefines your shape and it gives a more feminine shape instead of having a straight box <laughs> don't have a lot of curves so i have to find a way to just accentuate my waist even more because of that this other black turtleneck is one of my favorites as well because of the gold details as you can see here it's stylish it's sophisticated because it's black and gold if you want to keep it really really classy you can have the black and gold that's a really nice color combo what I love is that you can wear it to work you can wear it to go out you can wear it to just have something really casual the reason why i I love it so much i got it from zara a couple of months ago as well they still have it but it's not on sale when it comes to fishnet fishnet has been a trend for 2017 but it's really brief but it's okay because i still love it as much transparent top if i can say it like that but it is zara i love it might be something that people are gonna feel naked in a nice classy way you can either have it with just a black bra don't wear any colorful bra with it just like it yeah the colorful bra is out of question when it comes to that because we're gonna see it all and we don't need to see all these details it's a versatile piece you can pair it with my cheetah printed dress that i showed you just before you're gonna have the transparency but you're not gonna be all naked when it's gonna get a little bit warmer to go out it was cute and that was on sale i think i got it for 20 back something like that worth being the favorite for winter this other one i got it for sales at zara i think i got obsessed over this turtleneck love the stripes it's all glittery you are still gonna look work appropriate but just with a little bit of glitter you know just enough love it i love it brown and black and rust cute i love the sleeves the stripes vertical they kind of 
cinching your waist and just make it look a little bit thinner so if you have everything black and you just have that with uh, a tuxedo pants like I did last week it's just gonna make you look like you are really slim around the waist area this sweater is been my other love for daring and having another color that I was not used to have in my closet the lavender just this shade of purple it's bright I got it from dynamite they might still have it but I'm gonna link it down below got it for sales as well in December belong it's pretty crop which I love a lot not gonna give you that boxy shape definitely worth it let's get to some blazer coat jacket I can't have any favorites without including this blazer from Zara if I'm not inspired during a day stand out or just being really stylish just having that with some jeans that's it it's a blazer but because of the little details here on the pockets that just makes it so funky yeah i've styled it way too many times at this point bit long on me which i love it was perfect it's because i'm not that tall whenever i wear a pair of shorts or just a mini skirt because i don't feel as naked dear zara coat i love you love you okay next <laughs> this red coat I recently bought it it was a part of the sales as well last one in the store so I was like yes and it was an extra small it was already a price I think at 189 something like that and I got it for 50 bucks I can't complain at all right the rich red it's something I had a couple of them but I never really had a red coat like that pretty long and it's really well structured I love the shoulders how classy it could be and it could look like a new I have jeans a t-shirt sneakers combining it with a black turtleneck I feel like again here it's super classy this color is gonna speak for every other piece that you're gonna have style with it I discovered my love for corduroy lately well not that lately it has to be some corduroy jackets this one from Zara you know it I showed you that more than once I can just style it so many types of way it's not super long and I love how it is at the bottom they've had the same cut and the same style in the new collection but other colors don't have it anymore unless you find it on sale everybody talking to me about corduroy and not liking it i don't know what i can do for you layer it up you can layer it down and you can even layer it with my red coat that i showed you because it's going to be different shades and different textures you can double layer you can triple layer because it's winter and just take advantage of the cold all fall or spring is the best time where you want to play with different type of layering so another one another corduroy jacket zara again and it's much longer it's one of my favorite 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 i i can't wait to style it for spring what you can do with it is to actually have it underneath your canadian winter coat it's gonna be better gonna die out of cold because it's still Canada or anybody like you out there you can wear it as a top layer because it's so funky because of the fabric and because of the style it just reminds you of the vintage again of course it's not classy it's a bit laid back but it's something interesting to the eyes I always keep it really open and I love styling it with sneakers for some reason the last coat that I'm gonna show you a teddy bear coat it's not super long but it's not super short on me it's way out of the winter palette but it's not that bright just oh. I love the green of it I love the shade of green overall I just love the length because if it's too long you're gonna look a lot shorter than you actually are so you don't want that getting something as thick is a matter of having in a shorter version if you can because it's really 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 thick okay. that was all about my favorite let me know if you had some favorites out of everything that I showed you or if you have favorites yourself for winter in general I recently launched my first fashion magazine for two 19 last week a couple of views already received it so i hope you liked it let me know in the comment down below and what was your takeaway from that that excited i was like oh my god i just want them to receive it i was way too excited for it for those who haven't yet and who haven't signed up yet it's definitely free you'll get a couple of outfit inspiration as far as everything that you see here on how to style in more depth when it comes to it and much more options and it's gonna be clickable links so to buy it if you really like it i'm gonna go with the monthly 
monthly challenges which is really focused on a certain area of your styling it's gonna help you more to develop your style and really be comfortable with trying a couple of stuff that I'm gonna show you in the magazine see what I call the wild cards what I call the key pieces and how you can mix match your basics and a wild card pieces like that uh, for the rest I hope you liked it I'm gonna see you on my next video and it's gonna be a special one so stay tuned for that really nice beginning of the week and smile because it's free and contagious bye